out here. All right. It's really wet in there. It's massive. <laughs> Hello. And welcome Hello. to Narrow Boat Good Life. That was a long tunnel. Very long tunnel. That's taken us a week to get through there. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, it's taken, oh, taken half an hour. Half an hour, so yeah. yeah, about half an hour, 35 minutes. That is a really wet tunnel. We got absolutely soaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, there was a bit that looked like an actual waterfall coming out of the coming brickwork. Out. Yeah. The, uh, the tunnel went under loads of re renovation in 1984 and so it's not modern but it compared to the other ones you can't see the old ways that it was built with bricks and whatever it's really concreted over so actually and it's very very straight compared to Braunston yeah isn't it you can see both ends and actually it, it felt even though it's not wider it just felt wider just felt and a little taller, bit wider it, so. so I like that tunnel yeah I'm alright right with that one that was alright yeah enjoyed <laughs> that so we're going into Stoke Bruin. Yay! We're going to spend. Yay! We've been waiting to get Stoke Bruin for months. I know. We? Been looking forward to this so much. I heard so much about it. Yeah, and Can't I walked wait. here. Walked here a few days ago, and it really is beautiful. Yeah. And the sun. It's going to be sunny. It's Easter weekend, oh, and it's goodness. going to be great weather. I've still got my gloves on. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, so I'm in really this vlog, we've got um, got a nice got a nice bit of video of an old working boat called Sculptor which is a Canal and River Trust uh, work boat, which um, recently went under some repairs and came down from Ellesmere Port, but um, up in Cheshire. So we'll find out a bit about that in this video. And the history of it, and we're meeting a guy called Rob. Yeah, Rob Westlake, he's one of the Canal and River Trust volunteers at Stoke Bruin. Um, so he volunteers to actually um, oversee wide beams going through the tunnel when they have to book. Um, and he's going to give us, um, yeah, um, he's going to chat to us a bit about the t uh, about, a bit about the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the tunnel there, but hey ho. <laughs> so we're going to go find a mooring. Um, there is a pub in Stoke Bruin. Yep, and we've started doing little half an hour, 40 minute um, leaving um, Rosie and Ralph in the boat um, just to see how she gets on being on a Part of the training. It's part of training, so. To manage their anxieties when we do leave them. Yeah, so um, the pub's on the canal side, so we'll probably be moored up right next to it. <laughs> That's so our excuse anyway. We'll pop back and yeah. check on her, but we won't leave her for more than half an hour. Half an hour. Half an hour to Half minutes, an hour at so. a time, just get, get her used to it. Yeah. So we're going to go find a mooring. Yeah. And then, so come back in and check in later, see where we are. Yep, toodaloo. See ya. Stowe Bruin is a small village in Northamptonshire and is home to the Canal and River Trust Museum. Stoke Bruin is a beautiful small village which the canal was built straight through in the 1790s. It still has many old English thatched roof cottages. And at the top of the village is the impressive embattled tower church of St Mary's the Virgin. The star of this week's vlog has to be the historic working boat called Sculptor, which has been a British waterways and laterally canal and river trust showboat since 1985. <laughs> Let me sort out myself a minute. Oh, it's not iron or anything, that's why I rolled the sleeves oh, up. <laughs> we do have an iron on board, we do. Never have used you, it. I've never you. used it. It's good for putting all my tops back down when they come to lifting up, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm with Rob, who's a volunteer with Canal and River Trust. And Rob helps maintain, look after Sculptor, which is a boat owned by CRT, isn't it, Rob? That is absolutely correct, yeah. Um, I'm part of a team. Right. I mean, I'm at the moment leading the team, but that's not to say somebody else will want to say. But um, I've been involved with Sculptor since about 2000. Yeah. Um, uh, a few sort of trips, and then really my main involvement got in when, when the bottom boards were replaced and we had to take the engine out. Yeah. Uh, which we did up at the boatyard at, at Brinkley. And uh, that was the first time I laid on my back, covered in oil and grease, 
struggling with huge great bolts, which <laughs> was our role for the weekend, which we had a good weekend doing it. Um, but then since then, I've been involved with Sculptor uh, in association with David Blaber, first of all, and then since he's passed away, I've sort of led the team pretty well that's looked after it. So, yeah. yeah. So, how, how old is Sculptor? Sculptor was built in 1935 at the boatyard, or just adjacent to the boatyard where she's been at Northwich on the other side of the river, um, Yardwood's Yard. Yeah. And they were commissioned at that time to build 12 pairs of these. So right. the motors and their butties. And the butty uh, for this motor, which was originally built with, was called Toucan. Right. And it was used during the Second World War, as reading on the sign. Yes. What was it doing there? Basically, during the war, um, London and the Blitz had huge fires. Yeah. And the war ministry wanted additional craft to use as firefighting. Yes. Boats. Now they had firefighting boats on the Thames, which were the larger boats, but the Thames in those days, before the barrage and everything was tidal, yeah. so once the water went out twice a day, yeah. suddenly the boats couldn't move. Yeah. So the, the thing was then, um, the canals generally had water in them, yeah. and it was planned and brought in, so they, they commandeered or, or commissioned, commission would be a better word, um, I think it was nine of similar boats to this yeah. to be converted and they put an additional living space cabin on it, but it yeah. was just really for crew comforts. Yeah. Um, and then mounted three Coventry Climax pumps in the hold. Pump out the water. And they to pump water from the canal up onto the fires. That was the purpose of it. Oh, great. Yeah. So what was she, and after, then after the war, was she then a working boat? After the war, there was a bit of mystery. Right. She was actually abandoned for a period down at a dock near Greenford. Yeah. Um, but she was rescued from there, and the three boats, um, Sculptor, Sagata, and uh, 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 Scorpio, I think, but I may not be right on that one, um, were towed by a tug sickle, which was a smaller ice-breaking type tow, through here, all the way back up to, uh, to I believe, to Northwich, but if not, right. it was Ellesmere Port or somewhere in the north. Yeah. Um, and then there was, this boat was, some work done on it and put the decommission and then she spent a lot of her working life on the Shopper Union right. as a maintenance boat. So if the maintenance crews that were repairing lock gates or making tow paths or, yeah. or doing piling and this sort of thing, so this was a boat that was in the yard to be used by take 20 tons up to X, Y and the captain, you know, it wouldn't be a captain, it would be just that one of the workers would take this boat up with his load on for the day. Yeah. So. Um, you know, everybody loved this boat, which was, um, sorry, I'm walking backwards, but never yeah. mind. You, 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 I, I'm just getting the sun out in the eyes and just wave into mine. Um, the, 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 the principle of Sculptor being restored at the time was to sort of put her back into working order. Right. After that period, which we got photographs of her working on Shropshire Union in 71 time, really good photographs of yeah. Sculptor, not in these colours, in the old BW blue and white. But um, So that, that was Sculptor's sort of working life. But then when that working life came to an end, probably in the end of the 70s, early 80s, she was then fully restored and was brought into the museum collection as an example of, yeah. of uh, you know, this class of boat. And she probably stays, stays in Stoke Bruin, does she? Or does she go out about? Stoke Bruin, she's been, she's been in her home since 1986, which yeah. of course is now, oh, that can't be sums, but 14, <laughs> 34, 35 years now. Yeah. Um, so it's she's sad, you know, <laughs> every photograph you see of Stoke Bruin, unless she's off at one of the shows or events she goes to, she's sat she's here. A, um, and generally she's open like this on a weekend, um, but we do then, as part of our work for the Trust, take her to other places to the shows, to Chris, as I mentioned already, we take her to Bronson. Bronson, she's about the Bronson, Bronson Rally. Yeah. yeah. You were saying earlier, it's steel sides. Steel sides, wooden, yes. Wooden the, the hold is steel sides all the way around. Obviously, the rear counter here will have been rebuilt. The front bows have probably had a tension. I'm not saying they're rebuilt, just a tension. Yeah. But then the, the boat is a composite boat, so the, the bottom, the base of the boat, the base of the hold, is timber. And that was what originally they were brought out of the boat yard. Which is the it's been after it being replaced. We have records of when they were replaced, but it's a generally every 20, 25 years. And yes. um, at the present time, she was rebought bottomed in 2012. Yeah. And uh, the bottoms that we have at the moment were 
happy with. It's not leaking. No. But, and, so, did you, did, I know we just started the engine, mm. and that's the Lister engine, and it's not the original. Was it any evidence? Yeah, um, was a horse drawn? No. At any point? This, or was it always this, had an engine? This was built as a motor. As a motor. With its butty. Yeah. Um, the horse drawn era did continue. Um, but it's the horse-drawn boats, and we haven't got any around here now. Just as well, uh, we used to have Moon moored across there for a yeah. long time. Uh, it's a different shaped boat, and they were designed to be uh, a lighter construction, more weight, but could be moved by by a horse. And there's obviously Easy. evidence cool. of horses towing two boats as yeah. well. But um, no, this was definitely because of the age. This was built '35. Um, by then, the horse era had generally gone gone but right. there were the enthusiastic boaters that still carried on and i think the last one was the joe and uh, rose skinner on um uh, raymond yeah raymond is still with us but it was the last horse drawn wooden boat built at bronson in 1958 so, now what we do just this is a notorious for oil all going sitting in the bottom and yeah. you try and start it from cold you've got no oil up around everything so if you just rotate it half a dozen times which is quite tight Pull it off. That's it. Well, that's done enough to get the oil up here. Go on, let's, have, let's give it a go. There we go. Cheers, Rob. Well, I'll do some footage yeah. of the inside. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, Just yeah. do that. Yeah, sure. And, and then I think we're done. If that's right with you. That's great. Yeah. It's that's been good to meet you. It's fascinating. Oh, it's really, really, it's really great to meet you. This isn't the cabin for Sculptor, but inside Stoke Brew Museum is a show cabin which illustrates the historic look of old working boats and where the boaters would have lived. This is all the living space they would have had and sometimes included their children. Stoke Brew Museum is an excellent day out and all the information artefacts give you a real feel for the life and culture of the old working canals and the people that lived on them. After a few lovely days in Stoke Bruin, it was time for us to chug on to our next destination.
The day we set off was incredibly windy and we couldn't get Thistle and Rose away from the siding so I had to pull her into the lock instead which was back breaking and gave me a real sense of the old boaters if they had over 10 tonnes worth of cargo. After over a year on the canals, this was a first for us. Although we have seen many wide beams, this was the first time we passed one coming in the opposite direction. However, the Grand Union is so wide it didn't cause a problem. We ended the journey and moored in the village of Cosgrove. Just to the side of the towpath is a relic of the canal's horse-drawn days, which is the Cosgrove Horse Tunnel, which enabled barge horses to be led under the canal to the stables. What's it called the Horseshoe Tunnel? Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. I mean, it's a bit to me fat at the sides. What was it for? Horses! Oh! Ooh. It is also believed locally that this was constructed to carry the dead from the canal boats to their burials at the church on the opposite side of the canal. In one of our favourite places? <laughs> what, the pub? Yeah. <laughs> Just the pub. Yeah, any pub. Any no, pub. Not any pub. This no. one was recommended to us. By it? Crispy Duck Diaries. So cheers, Russ and Jane. Yeah, cheers. We, had, um, we met Russ and Jane up in Stoke Bruin. Yeah, they were more behind us, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, and we had a couple of few, well, a fair few drinks with them. Yeah, it was good. Really, really enjoyed the company. So hello, guys. Hi. Hello to you. Um, so now we're in Cosgrove. Yes. Uh, which looks like a real beautiful village. We just came down today couple hours to get down here um, weather's been okay but a bit on and off a bit windy but yeah so got a real nice mooring so it's been it's been cool so yeah Cosgrove seems really nice we'll stay here for a day or so yeah before heading through Milton, Milton Keynes. Keynes and that'll be next week yeah so hope you enjoyed that vlog sculpture was really nice and thanks to Rob the volunteer spending his time yeah, that was really invaluable to spend some time with him and learn a lot about the, the history of the boat and uh, what they do with it and things, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, really cool. Yeah. Cheers. So if you have enjoyed this vlog, please do give us a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's totally free to do so. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know when we next release a video. I'm really going to enjoy this. This one my, by one of my favourite breweries called Titanic. And it's their Extra Pale Ale. Yes. This will not be the only one. <laughs> as, as, soon as, he, as soon as he saw it, he was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just having a wee cider. Cider? Yeah. Different? Mixing it up a little bit. Ooh. So it's refreshing, isn't it? Summer it is summer. Summer, summer drink. drink. Yeah, absolutely. So, so cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you next week. week. Toodaloo. Bye. There you go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm going to order me another one. <laughs> <laughs>